Welcome to the BewareCast, where I teach you about the things that you need to beware of. In the vast desert planet of Arrakis, known more commonly as Dune, a colossal creature roams beneath the sands. The sandworm, Shai Halud to the Fremen, is one of the most iconic lifeforms in all of science fiction. These titanic beasts are not only awe-inspiring in scale and mystery, but they are also fundamental to the ecology, religion, and economy of the Dune universe. Today, we're diving deep into the biology, behaviour, and immense significance of the sandworms. Sandworms can reach lengths of hundreds of metres, with some accounts in Frank Herbert's universe suggesting lengths up to 400 metres or more. Their cylindrical, armour-plated bodies are made up of tough, interlocking segments that protect them from the harsh desert environments and predators, though few predators could ever threaten a fully grown sandworm. At the front end of the creature is a gaping maw ringed with crystalline teeth, capable of pulverising rock and metal with ease. Internally, sandworms are adapted to the extreme dryness of Arrakis. They excrete almost no moisture, recycling bodily fluids with incredible efficiency. Their movement under the sand resembles that of an earthworm using muscular contractions to propel themselves. Vibrations on the surface alert them to potential threats or prey, and they are drawn to rhythmic patterns, especially the sounds of machinery or footsteps, hence the Fremen use of sand walks to avoid detection. The life cycle of the sandworm is among the most fascinating aspects of its biology. It begins with the sand trout, a leathery amoeba-like organism that absorbs water and creates the arid environment needed for the worm's adult stage. Over time, sand trout aggregate and eventually metamorphose into a juvenile sandworm. This transformation is both biological and ecological. The desert is essentially shaped by these creatures to maintain the conditions that they require. The sandworms are hermaphroditic and reproduce through a complex process that remains somewhat mysterious. Their eggs are never directly observed, suggesting either an internal reproductive system or a completely alien method of propagation. Regardless, their population appears to be self-sustaining and their presence is essential to the desert ecosystem. The sandworms are critical to the formation of melange or spice, the most valuable substance in the universe. Spice is produced as a byproduct of the sandworm's metabolic processes, particularly involving the pre-spice mass, a volatile mixture that explodes to the surface and begins the transformation into the spice found across the desert. Spice grants heightened awareness, extended lifespan, and is crucial for space travel, as the spacing guild navigators use it to perceive safe paths through hyperspace. Without sandworms, there is no spice, and without spice, the universe as known in Dune collapses. To the native Fremen, sandworms are sacred. They call them Shai Halud, a term that refers not only to the physical creature, but also to a godlike force of nature. Killing a sandworm is taboo, and their presence is intertwined with prophecy, destiny, and spiritual reverence. Fremen ride sandworms as part of their survival and rites of passage. They use hooks to open segments of the worm's body, forcing it to rotate and avoid sinking, effectively creating a mount. This act requires incredible skill and courage, and serves as a symbol of Fremen harmony with the desert. Despite their immense power, sandworms do have vulnerabilities. Large amounts of water are lethal to them, disrupting their internal systems fatally. This is why the sand trout stage evolved to eliminate surface water on Arrakis, creating the desert itself as a protective measure. The human beings on Arrakis interact with sandworms carefully and with respect. Space mining operations use spotters and thumpers to distract worms, but the risk is always high. 
The existence of water-based weapons like atomics or moisture traps is strictly controlled to prevent the mass death of worms and ecological collapse. The sandworm is more than a creature, it's a symbol. It represents the raw, untamable power of nature and interconnectedness of life and environment and the cost of exploitation. In Paul Atreides' rise as Mwad Dib, the worm becomes both steed and sigil, a metaphor for transformation, control, and the balance between man and nature. The sandworms of Arrakis are among the most legendary fictional organisms ever imagined. Their size and power alone would make them worthy of awe, but it is their role in ecology, spirituality, and economy that makes them truly unforgettable. They are the lifeblood of Dune, not just in a literal sense, but as an embodiment of the themes that lie at the heart of the saga.